Hey, it's me. How do you like my new shirt? <laughs> Is it orange enough for you? I feel like it's Tennessee orange. Anyway, I'm just kind of hanging out at home. Um, let's see here. You can see it's clouding up. I think we're actually supposed to get some rain here after a bit. So that'll be nice. I do have my hamburger out. I'm going to make little cheddar meatloaves. I love meatloaf, this recipe, and some real mashed potatoes. So that'll be coming up. I'll share the recipe with you guys. All right, so this is all the little cheddar meatloaves. This is all the ingredients, one egg, some quick cooking oats, cheese. I got this at Dollar Tree. I do not drink milk, but I figured I would just get that because it does call for a little milk. Ketchup, mustard, and of course, ground beef. And we've got this, we've got my nice little mixing, and then this is what I'm gonna put the little cheddar meatloaves in. It's actually perfect, these are $1.25 at Dollar Tree, and they fit perfectly in my little ninja oven. All right, so let's get started. Okay, I do not have a whisk. <laughs> Note of things I need to get. So we're just whisking together one large egg and three-fourths cup of the uh, whole milk, which I'm just using whole milk. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, it's just easier to bring this closer together instead of trying to film far away. All right, so we have the milk, then we added one half cup of the quick cooking oats, and then a cup of cheddar cheese. So you're gonna mix this all together really good. This is my favorite recipe. I never really liked meatloaf, but this makes like just little mini meatloaves and with the good like sauce on top, it's really good. And more importantly, these taste good the next day. So yeah, let's get this done. Then we gotta add the meat. Okay, so note to self, always make sure you have enough of all the ingredients. <laughs> I did not have all I needed for the ketchup. So you're supposed to have three quarters of a cup. I have a little, about half. So I'm using a little less than half of the brown sugar it called for and the mustard. We'll just have to make do. This is not my favorite part. <laughs> Mush. <laughs> Mushing with my bare hands. Mush it together. Ugh. I should probably get gloves for this. And I couldn't use all the meat, so I put some in the fridge and I'll make them again later. But do this. As long as there's enough for each meatloaf, I'm happy. None for you, Togo. Okay, that was actually perfect. Can you see? Just enough. I'm going to stick them in the oven. Okay, so they are in the oven. Uh, you cook at 350 for... 25 to 30 minutes depending. I haven't cooked meatloaf in here, so I'm gonna kinda, I set it for 25 and we'll just check from there. Pretty easy. Okay, so 350. And that's what they look like in there. These are so good. They're little cheddar meatloaves. Now, got some potatoes. I'm gonna get ready. So I just cut up three potatoes and you guessed it. I do not have a potato peeler. <laughs> I 
I swear I used to have one. I'm going to have to make a list because I need to get that and I don't have a mixer. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't done a lot of that cooking in here because it is a small kitchen, but yeah. I may need to get some of those. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to throw those in there anyway. So, who needs, you know, mashed potatoes? I can just, I'll eat them this way too. It's fine. Totally fine by me. I could have swore I had one. Guess not. Oh, well. While we're waiting for the meatloaf and potatoes to boil, I do not have the best setup yet for like filming in my kitchen because again you know it's a tiny house so I need to get like I have a tripod it's kind of broken ish so it's not really good the lighting isn't the best I need like a handheld one that I can put on the counter and record I don't have one of those yet so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those but yeah I apologize you can't really see like everything going on because I don't have the best setup yet Dinner is served. So I mashed up my potatoes, some butter, put a little corn on it, and the meatloaves are done too. Those look pretty good. And they are great for leftovers. So I am going to get my plate ready. All right, that's it guys, dinner. Meatloaf, little cheddar meatloaves, and boiled potatoes and corn. That is good, guys. This tastes so good. Home cooked meal. I'm going to go eat, guys. Have a good night.